America, land of the brave, home of the free, and the forefront of entitled crybabies being raised by mentally deranged parents. It's your boy Gastly on another episode of Holy Fucking Shit, People Are Stupid. Remember the days where you had to train and struggle to earn your victories in life? Hell, I hardly can either. Today in Holy Shit, People Are Fucking Stupid, also known as I don't want to live on this planet anymore. It would appear that we've reached a new height in the competitive industry, or is it more? Yeah, it's definitely more of a new low, a brand new low. A New Jersey mother just went in recently and complained to her school board that her daughter didn't make the cheerleading team. She was so upset by this, she demanded that she be let onto the team and there be a new rule, either everyone wins or nobody wins. I tried my hardest and everything's going away all because of one child who did not make a team and their parent complained, so now all my hard work has been thrown out the window. Now, usually in a sane society, this is the part where we get to tell them those seven beautiful words. Uh, boo fucking who, cry me a river. You got that, I got the top. <laughs> Turns out, that's not the case. No, no, actually, it's quite the opposite now. The school board bent to her whim almost instantaneously. Now. Anyone who tries out is a winner! Yay! You did so good! So proud of you for failing, but we're just gonna look past that. You you did a great job. For one second, could you imagine training for the Olympics, spending the last 12 years of your life perfecting your ability to do something that is conceived as incredible, and then you play in the Olympics, and then you get the gold medal. But only one day later, you receive a call where someone tells you, Hey, uh, it turns out you're not the only winner. You're not the only one who got a gold medal. What? Yeah, so the person who didn't place at all, she got fourth place, uh, she felt really bad that she didn't win. So we're just going to give everyone a gold medal so we don't hurt anyone's feelings, you know, because that's the right thing to do to reinforce failure as a success. Good job. You are so good. You're good too, but she's just as good as you. All the hard work, all the hours, all the pain that you went through means nothing. All the time I've spent in my cheer gym, practicing, constantly flipping, practicing my jumps, all was just like gone. I was like, I can't believe like my hard work just dropped. So my question now is, uh, is this gonna start being applied to like college exams, grades in general? Is this gonna be applied to everything? Anytime someone doesn't get something they want. Are we going to become a society that bases its rules off the same ones that restaurants do? Think about that. When you go into a restaurant, it is the one place where you can complain until you get what you want, service industry. I ask you, my friends, when did we start embracing weakness and inadequacy as merits? When did we set the bar for human achievement so low? Look, I understand what the goal here is. Just one big happy fucking rainbow of sunshine in this inconceivable utopia where everyone is perfect, everyone is a winner, and nobody loses. I'm sorry, but that's all a load of horse shit. And no, you are not automatically deserving of rewards that you are not willing to work, fail, and try again to earn. The very fact the very that you suck so bad that they had to change the rules in order for you to win should say it all. That's not winning. That's having the inability to accept this fun little thing all of us in the real world call reality. Stupid police. Stupid police, the Lord! FBI, open up! Hey, did you guys know? You're fucking stupid! <laughs> stupid police. So, as it turns out, failure creates good people. Failure creates success. 
failure creates legends. The Wright brothers didn't complain to the laws of physics when their first couple plane ideas didn't work. Helen Keller didn't complain that everyone else should be deaf and blind because she is. You guys remember Bruce Lee, right? This guy? Yeah, you remember Bruce. The guy who trained daily for decades to earn the right to be known as the karate master? Yeah, um, what, what was that? What was that one quote that he had? How did it go? In order to succeed in life, you must cry like a little bitch until you get your way. Yes, that was it. That's how it went. Oh my God, what a genius man. Clearly, he complained to all of his karate masters and the world changed for him. When we get what we want because we complain, we stunt our growth as a society and as people. And this only creates bleak drones who don't aspire for greatness because they believe that greatness is inherited to them. And that's not how real life works. Can you imagine being this person? Mom, did you make it into the cheerleading team? Sweetie, I'm so sorry. What are we gonna do? Could you, could you go and fix it for me, please? Don't you worry, sweetie. I'm gonna head over there and I'm gonna tell that school board that you deserve to be on the team. It sucks, mom. And then after your mom goes over to the school, changes the rules, and then you're on the team, you think they're gonna respect you? Like, you know, I really, I really like what you told your mom to do there. Telling your mom to come and change the rules so you can win and the rest of us just wasted our time? So amazing. You're not gonna get any respect. Hooray! Why? Because you don't deserve it. You useless twat waffle. Anyone who agrees with your ideology is fucking stupid. And there's a very good chance they're psychotic and sociopathic and manipulative and controlling because only a sociopathic, manipulative, controlling piece of shit would ever want to change the rules in order for them to win. Is no one seeing this? Am I tripping balls? <laughs> when I was a kid, I tried out for the football team and I was not accepted onto the team. When I went home to my dad, I was like, hey dad, I, I didn't make it onto the team. And he said, well, you're too small, so you're no good at defense. You can't throw a ball for shit, so you're no good at offense. It looks like you'll have to practice and build some bulk and train in order to be accepted next time. I took it with a grain of salt. You know, obviously that's not what I wanted to be told, but it's what I needed to be told. And I realized I didn't care about football enough to work my ass off and train and, and struggle through all of that effort in order to just get accepted onto a team. In fact, this is what made me realize that I liked art and music and that art and music were what I was truly passionate about. But it still made me realize that I was not, I didn't care about that stuff. I didn't find it as interesting as I thought I did. You know, all my friends were doing it, so I thought that I wanted to do it too, and then I found out that I just didn't care about sports. And nothing against sports at all. Go, go home team, go sports. Um, I just realized that I liked art, and if my father hadn't told me the truth, and if I didn't accept my failure, then I may have never found what I truly cared about. Seeing my point here, Wow, you're so fucking bitter, bro. It's just cheerleading. What's the big deal? Yo, bro, you're you're like hella bitter about that shit. It's just cheerleading. <laughs> Life is not a restaurant. Society is not your waiter. You do not get anything you want just because you complain. And it is detrimental to tell people that this is how things work. And it really boils down to not being able to take criticism. Criticism is crucial. Without criticism, you can't know what you're doing wrong. And if you absolutely refuse to take criticism, then how can you ever get better than what you are now? It's impossible. My snake is, <laughs> my snake is trying to go up on the roof. Charles, what are you doing, Charles? Charles, how do you feel about letting everyone win just because they feel like it? Life is not your Applebee's. Failure builds strong individuals, and while it may hurt at first, failure forces you to build upon the skills that advance you in your own life. Whether it be your job, your relationship, or even a video game, 
life is made up of the moments that make or break you. This is not a Burger King. You cannot have it your way. So stop being a pussy. I totally agree. Good timing, bro. And see, that's my point. We evolve through suffering. We succeed through failure. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got all kinds of things I want to share with you guys. My thoughts, opinions, my stories, my tips, my advice on life, whatever the fuck. If you feel like listening to me, if you can find some type of connection with me and yourself through this lens and the internet, and we get to relate and we get to talk and we get to share ideas and like, you know, just open up the world to each other, then that's a pretty cool fucking thing to me, my friends. All right, that's all. My name's Gastly. Feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great time. Goodbye. Hello. Thank you. Great times. Fun. Awesome. Have a great night. Thanks a lot. Hey, yo, everybody I want to step to this.